It's always good to start the day with thoughts of goodwill, to remind yourself that whatever happiness you're going to search for in the course of the day, you want it to be a happiness that doesn't harm anybody. So you have goodwill for yourself. In other words, you're looking for happiness in a way that's not dangerous. And then you spread that same thought to others. Now, thoughts of goodwill are not a magic wand that will make them happy. And you're not saying, may you be happy doing whatever you're doing. You have to stop and think. True happiness comes from people's actions, from being skillful in their actions. And so when you wish for people to be truly happy, you're wishing that they would be skillful in the way they act and speak and think. And that's a thought you should be able to have for anyone. So as you go through the day, you run up with people who are doing things that are unskillful, things that you see are harmful. And your first thought should be not what a horrible person that is, but how can that person change his or her ways? And is there any way that I can be helpful in that direction? This requires that you be skillful in dealing with others who are difficult. You can't just tell them that they're wrong. You have to get them to see on their own that they're what they've been doing is wrong, and it's been harmful. You're hoping for a change of heart. And you ask yourself, is there any way that I can influence that person to have a change of heart? That's what it means to have goodwill for that other person. And it should be a thought that you can have for anyone. Just watch out for the cases where you think, well, I'd like to see that person suffer some first before they change their ways. That doesn't really accomplish anything. Because all too often when people suffer, they simply take it out on others. They very rarely stop to reflect that their suffering is the result of their own actions. So goodwill is the best first reaction you should have when you're dealing with difficult people. Now, for the cases where you can't make any change right now, that's when you have to develop equanimity. This is why the Buddha has you develop all the Brahma Viharas together. Goodwill, compassion, empathetic joy, and equanimity. Compassion is what goodwill feels when it sees people suffering or doing things that will cause suffering. Empathetic joy is when you see people doing things that are skillful or enjoying the happiness of their skillful actions. But then there are times when you can't make any change, even though things are, or things are going to change in a way that you can't stop. You realize that's going to be bad. And you realize, okay, this is beyond me. And if you fight, fight, fight against things that will not respond to your actions, then you're wasting your energy. There are lots of other places where you can fight, where you can make a difference. You want to focus your attention there. That way you're showing goodwill for yourself, goodwill for others, in being selective in how you go about acting on your goodwill. Equanimity is basically your reality check. It's your, the voice of wisdom, reminding you that you have limited Resources, even though you have unlimited goodwill, your resources are limited. So you want to make the most of them. And as you think in these terms, it becomes a lot easier to live with yourself. At the end of the day, you can reflect and spread goodwill for everybody. Reflect on the fact that you acted on goodwill all day long. That gives a lot of energy to the practice. As the Buddha said, when you have goodwill for others, you're helping them, but at the same time you're helping yourself. So try to make this something you do every day.